it's Christina. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are celebrating with Spellbinders their birthday celebration. So they have a brand new release with a whole bunch of great birthday themed dies. I'm going to be doing a Topsy Turvy cake card along with using the birthday unboxing glimmer plates. This is the Topsy Turvy cake dies and we are going to set this aside but I just wanted to show you all the great parts to this. These are all the layers to the cake and you have the outline of the cake and then you can also die cut the insides to create patterns for your icing and then it also has some really fun decorative pieces so you have some some icing that kind of drips over your cake you've got your die for your candles you can also use it for party streamers and then there's also little stars and hearts that you can use for toppers on your candles and then there's this little like icing piping part that goes around to the bottom of the cake. So we're gonna do that and make a card using this, but I'm gonna set this aside because we're gonna start off with doing our sentiment. I have my hot foil system all heated up and I'm going to be using the happy birthday and a time to celebrate plates. This also has a big happy birthday plate with a coordinating die that you can cut out the sentiment and then also has a couple longer dies or foil plates and then has some uh, longer die that you can use to cut out that as well. I have my hot foil system all ready to go and we're going to do this part first because I want to get this kind of out of the way so we don't accidentally burn ourselves. I have a piece of cream colored cardstock and then I have my happy birthday and a time to celebrate. A piece of low tack tape and then a piece of tangerine colored foil. I'm going to start off with taking my piece of low-tech tape and adding my happy birthday and a time to celebrate plates to the, the low-tech tape and then I'm going to go ahead and adhere or put down my foil and then put my plates on the top of that. That just get, makes it a little bit easier for me to move them over to my cardstock. So we're just going to adhere those down. And then, like I said, my hot foil system is all ready to go here. I'm just going to take my plates and my foil and my cardstock and flip that over onto my plate. And then I'm going to add my two hot foil plates to that and set the timer. Once this is done um, setting, I'm going to take this over to my die cut machine and run this through the machine to go ahead and add the foil. I have my little glimmer hot mat here just so that I don't melt my cutting mat. And I am going to go ahead and peel off my foil and we have our happy birthday sentiment. So I overfoiled a little bit and that's just because of the type of cardstock I used. So I'm just taking a sand eraser and just lightly going over my birthday sentiment just to go ahead and get off that extra foil that we don't need. And there we go. Now we have a perfectly foiled sentiment and I'm going to set this aside. We're going to work on this a little bit later. We are going to pull out our topsy-turvy cake and I am going to go ahead and start setting up all of my die cutting. We have lots of die cutting to do with this card. So I have a whole bunch of different colors of cardstock. So I have an orange, a pink, a yellow, a nice green color, and this tealish blue color along with a small piece of black cardstock. We are going to go ahead and I'm going to die cut all of the different layers of our cake. I'm not going to die cut the extra layer. I am going to stick right with the just the outside layers. I'm going to do this one in a blue. Then our medium one I'm going to do in this green color. Then we have the second to smallest. We're going to do that in the pink. And then we'll do this one in the yellow. There's also the little different um, little hearts and stars. I'm going to also die cut each one of these onto the different colors of cardstock. So we'll have a nice little confetti piece. I'm not going to use all of the colors, but I do want to use at least three of those because we are going to die cut this uh, little, looks like party streamers, but they're the candles onto the black cardstock. My sentiment piece that has the cream colored cardstock, I am going to be using the different layers of the cake pieces. So we have kind of like our, our dripping icing. We're going to do all of those layers. We're going to do all five of those in the cream colored cardstock. 
And then we're also going to do like our little piping sections for each part of each layer of the cake. So I'm going to die cut that on the cream cardstock as well. I also have these slimline rectangle dies from Spellbinders. So I'm going to use one of those to die cut onto some craft cardstock. I have everything cut out and ready to go. And I have a little tray here that has all my little tiny pieces. I'm going to take my rectangle that I cut out for a slim light card and I'm going to use this super cute Big Dot Slimline embossing folder. This is by also by Spellbinders. And I am going to run this through my die cutting machine and that'll be the end of all the die cutting that I need to do. I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then we can start assembling our card. All right, I have my polka dots all done. That's all completed. I'm gonna start putting together my cake pieces. So we have five layers to our cake. I'm gonna start with the biggest one and we are going to Go ahead and put this together. I'm going to pull out my tweezers because it's easier when you're messing with glue to move things around. And I am going to use this, uh, this craft glue here to put this together. And I'm going to show you how to put this one together and then I'll put the rest of them together pretty quickly. So there's a little line, an outline on here for the top of our cake. We just go ahead and put our little piece of our icing down at the bottom. And then I'm going to take our larger piece of piping and we're just going to add some dots of glue onto this one. And then this goes right down at the bottom of our largest piece of cake. And there is our first layer. All right, I have all of my little layers of my cake put together, and then we're gonna start putting our card together. So I'm gonna be doing a slimline card, so this is an eight and a half by seven inch piece of cardstock scored at three and a half to make our card base. And then I have this craft piece that we die cut using the rectangle die, but I wanna add a layer to this. I'm gonna add a piece of black cardstock behind this, and I am not going to measure I'm going to eyeball and cut it out with my, my paper trimmer. So just add a little bit of adhesive to the back, give it a little edge here. And then I will cut this on my paper trimmer. So here's my piece of craft cardstock with the mount in the back. I added a little bit of dot adhesive to the back because I'm taking a piece of my seam binding, which I have a huge stash of this. And I'm going to use this to create a little bow on the side. I'm going to tie it down with a piece of twine. So that creates a nice little decorative piece onto that piece. I'm going to adhere my piece of craft cardstock onto the front of my card base, right in the center. So we're ready to go ahead and start building our cake. I added some foam adhesive to the bottom layer of our cake. And I'm going to start building this up. So we have our blue our green, our pink, and our yellow. And I went ahead and added foam adhesive to the top parts of our cake. And then what I'm gonna do is add a little layer of glue, liquid glue, to the bottom part of the back of our card. And then we'll just go ahead and start laying our cake. And then before I adhere down my small yellow piece, I'm gonna start pulling out some of the parts to our candles. I don't want my candle to be quite as tall as this, but I do need it to be a little bit taller. So we're going to trim this down. I'm going to add a little piece of foam adhesive to the back of the yellow layer of our cake. Then for my yellow layer, I added the foam adhesive on either side and then liquid glue at the bottom. And the reason why I did it on either side is because I do need to kind of stick my candlestick back there. I'm gonna add my candle right behind my yellow layer of my cake, and I'm gonna move it down just a little bit because I don't want it to be really that tall. I'm gonna take a piece, or some of my liquid adhesive here to hear that down. And I'm okay if it kind of squirts over a little bit because I'm gonna take one of these stars and put that at the top. And 
And then I'm going to take my two other candles. I'm going to put one down here off my blue layer of my cake and then another one off the green layer. Just like so. So I have my other two candles added and I added some stars to the top of those. And then the last thing we need to do is just go ahead and add our birthday sentiment and our time to celebrate. So time to celebrate, I am going to add right to the bottom layer of my cake. I'm just going to use my liquid adhesive to do that. And then I have my happy birthday sentiment that I just added some foam adhesive to the back and then fishtailed or put a flag banner end onto the birthday sentiment. And that is our card. Thanks everybody for watching and I'll see you next time.